uh, welcome back to the grooming studio Lenny Chandler. Uh, today we are in uh, one animal rescue uh, in Novi Sad and we have uh, one dog, Chow Chow. He is a baby and uh, he is a very very good boy uh, but he is very very neglected. the chow chow we are grooming today he is in this condition because he uh, lived on the street he is uh, very young and no one knows how he ended on the street we can only guess uh, what happened the children asked for the dog with the promise of course, uh, to take care of it. Parents uh, bought a dog and the children took care of uh, the dog when it was small. As the dog uh, grows up, it needs a lot of care, especially when it uh, comes to dog with double coat. This kind of uh, dog requires daily care. I will tell you a little more about the main trains uh, of uh, these dogs later in the video. Now, what I want to hear is your optional about abandoned dogs. Write us your uh, opinion in the comments. Also, write to us if you ever helped a dog from the street. And if you helped a dog, in uh, what way was it? We wanted to see how many human people uh, there are who help dogs. We will try to uh, count uh, all the comments uh, and tell you the number in a future video. Although, I honestly believe that all the almost 8000 people on our channel are human people. Uh, he filed uh, on the street and he lived on the street. Uh, that is the neglected coat. Uh, and we are uh, cutting for uh, knife hand uh, because uh, we don't know uh, under coat what is it. You won't believe it. This is a dog that was abandoned, who has no home. He doesn't have a man who loves him. He has no family to care for him. No one brushes him every day. No one pampers him every day. He has no one to walk his tail when he see him and he has no one to lick and kiss tenderly and again you won't be able to believe 
that he was this good, that he stands still during his treatment. It was as if he uh, knew from the very beginning that we wanted to help him. He was that uh, good. He was so calm. Thank you for the trust, my little friend. Now I owe you an expression as to why we cut is so short. As you can see, we don't uh, do this in our salon. We cooperated with uh, many associations for the protection uh, of animal. Uh, they have uh, their rats, but uh, no groomers. And it takes a lot of time for every veterinarian to cut uh, a dog's hair. That is why we offer to cut any dog that need it. The way it works um, is that we bring uh, our tools and we come to the veterinarian station. Of course, we cut these dogs completely free of charge. When the vet is sure that the dog is fine, we pick him up and take him uh, to our saloon. However, when uh, he is not sure uh, what uh, the dog is behavior is, uh, then we cut him at the veterinarian station. Because uh, sometimes uh, it is uh, necessary for uh, the vet uh, to put him under sedation uh, so that we can cut him. And of course, uh, we must not uh, introduce him to the seat without the present of a veterinarian. And we cut uh, it short so that the vet can uh, examine uh, the dog's skin in details. After all, this is a street dog and uh, no one knows uh, what is going uh, on under so much coat.
When you look at uh, how many uh, ticks and flits these dogs has, uh, you will understand why we cut him this short. If uh, the hair was longer, he wouldn't be able to clean uh, it of all the parasites. Foxtail's grass is uh, very dangerous uh, for dog. In addition uh, to the fact uh, that it uh, can get uh, struck uh, in the skin and uh, cause pain to the dog, uh, it can also go all the way under the skin. It can go so deep that it reaches the bone. Okay guys, uh, that's it for us, uh, we are uh, give haircut for uh, this dog and the uh, veterinarian uh, gives up uh, now and uh, cleaning for tips and fleets for this. He has now been clipped and is now uh, begin picked uh, up to the wet to get rid of uh, ticks and fleets. We are very pleased uh, with how they went, uh, the dog was perfectly fine. And if you haven't yet, subscribe to our channel and see you in the next video. Bye!